One of the things I like about a free marketplace is competition. I like to see when you have a choice as a consumer for different things that you want to get. Today we're going to look at a few choices you have when it comes to mobile phones. You don't have to just get a Blackberry or you don't have to just get an Apple iPhone. There's some other models out there and uh, we're going to look at two today from HTC. And you might remember HTC before the iPhone was available in Canada, they came out with what was called the Touch, and it was a very popular phone. Uh, I think it was initially sold through Bell. But uh, today we're gonna look at the Touch Diamond and the Touch Pro, kind of the evolution of what they're doing with their phones. They're very similar models, so that's why we're showing two of them today. They both have uh, 3.2 megapixel built-in cameras. I think for the most part, every phone today that comes out, you expect to have a digital camera on it. They both have GPS built in for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Uh, they both have beautiful screens, which we'll take a look at in a minute. And they both have Wi-Fi as well. And the great thing about Wi-Fi is that if you're going to surf the internet or download any files to a mobile device, for the most part, you probably want to be using a Wi-Fi connection so that you don't have to pay for an expensive data rate. So let's first take a look at the diamond here. I'll just turn it on. One of the cool things that they offer, they're both running Windows Mobile 6.1. And if you didn't know this, interesting fact, HTC manufactures the majority of mobile phones that run Windows Mobile. So if you're using a phone that has Windows Mobile 6.1, it was probably manufactured by HTC. So I'm gonna click on uh, Windows Mobile here. They've got this thing called Live TV, and this is pretty cool. Here in Canada, there's a number of different channels that you can tune into, and we'll just load up one here. I think I've got the CBC, but that's showing the TV this way. If I flip it sideways, it automatically goes full screen. Now, if I'm commuting on a train or bus, I can actually imagine, you know, watching the news over a device like this. This works really well. Keep in mind, streaming live data using my cell phone plan can be a little bit expensive, so you want to make sure you have a good plan for that. Take a look at the Pro, a little bit of a different phone. This one is a bit thicker, as you can see. Actually, a little bit almost even too thick for my liking. But if you slide it open, you'll see that it does have sort of this open keyboard here. So you get the full QWERTY keyboard, which is quite nice for typing emails or texting or doing anything like that. And for business, personally, myself, I prefer to have a keyboard so I don't have to do the typing on screen. Both phones come with the included stylus as well so you can navigate your way around the screen, but you can use your finger to touch the screen as well. I just wanted to show you one thing about Windows Mobile. One of the things that HTC has done is they've kind of built their own interface over top of Windows Mobile. But if you look here, you can scroll through things like uh, the news headlines. So you can just get a nice little graphic there that shows you top stories. And you can just scroll through and see the business reports as well. You'll see that the entertainment news is on there as well. I found that uh, it was a little bit cumbersome for me to use. It was a little bit slow. I would have liked to see a little bit more responsiveness to it. And I did have a little problem with the small size of the screen and some of the icons. Sometimes my big fat fingers uh, caused that to not do what I wanted it to, hence the stylus. But again, I can definitely see where there might be even some more future improvements with the models to come in the future versions of Windows Mobile 6.5, I guess, is the next one coming out. So two phones, the evolution of uh, the touches from HTC. Uh, if you're looking at getting a mobile device and you don't want to necessarily go with BlackBerry or Apple, this might be one you check out. Gotta get connected. Gotta get connected. 